speaker. So let's welcome our warriors of Ikra, the first main speaker, Masood Ahmed. Welcome, brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmadu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'ghfir. Wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdi illahu falamudillala. Wa man yudlil falahadiyala. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluhu amma ba'd. All praise and thanks be to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And His peace and blessing be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And to those who followed him, who is following him, and who will be following him till the Yawm al-Akhira. Inshallah. Ameen. Today, Inshallah, I will be talking about the establishment of Islam in Medina in front of you all. As you all know, our Prophet Muhammad spent his 13 years in Mecca for calling for Islam. But only a few accepted. The remaining declined his call. Those who declared his call made plans against him, made plots against him. And there were many disputes against Prophet Muhammad and the Meccans. After these disputes, the Prophet Muhammad wanted to migrate to another city where he could preach Islam, where he could teach Islam, where he could establish Islam. On the 12th year of his prophethood, some 12 men from Etrib, which is the old name for Medina, came to Prophet Muhammad and took an oath called Aqaba, which states, I worship none other than Allah. Prophet Muhammad sent his disciples, namely Musab ibn Umayr anhu, with a group of 12 men to Etrib to spread Islam. Within a year, Islam spread like wildfire. It knocked every house. After a year, when Musab Umayr Radiallahu one who returned, he came with 75 people. Before a year, it was just a, uh, 12 men, and now 75 people in his hand. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. They met Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu at a night secretly and offered him protection and asked him to come with them for Medina. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu need of this, accepted the call. And uh, they, he selected 12 men out of, uh, for his delegates and they returned to Medina, leaving Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu behind to get arranged for the journey. About 100 people from Mecca left to Medina and this is called migration. Uh, the Qurayshi peoples who were aware of this plan made a plot against Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and decided to kill him. But before they execute, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gave wahi to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam getting aware of their plot. And, they, and uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companion Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu escaped that night with Allah's permission. When the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Medina, the Medinites were expecting for him eagerly. They waited each morning, each day, uh, in the border of uh, Medina to get him. And when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam emerged from the desert, they invited them. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stayed ten nights with the tribe called Bani Amr ibn Auf. And he established a mosque in Cuba. Then, he proceeded to Medina. Upon entering Medina, he ordered many things of, to his people to follow. One is to Akimu Salah, establish Salah. The other is to feed the poor. And the ne next is to spread the Salam to whoever we meet. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companion then built a mosque, uh, namely Masjid al-Nabawi. This mosque today is one of the three places where a Muslim should vi visit for gaining ajr. Allah's uh, messenger carried loads of bricks for building this mosque. And he prayed to the Ansars and the Muhajis, O oh Allah, the real uh, reward is in the uh, hereafter. So bestow your mercy 
on the Ansars and the Muhajirs. They then settled in Medina. And at this time, there existed two tribes, namely Aus and Khazraj. They were very fighting each other, like they did not, uh, does not uh, united. And pro when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came, he united them under the bonds of Islam. And he established between the Ansars and the Muhajirs a brotherhood which connected them as children of same parents and Prophet Muhammad as, a, as their guardian. There were three types of parties existed at Medina at that time. Namely, the Ansars who were the helpers, the Muhajis, the emigrants and the Jews. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam granted a constitution which guaranteed him as the chief magistrate of the nation and clearly defining the rights and the obligation of the people. The Jews who constituted the, the third party were, however, the most serious danger of element. They no kindness or generous treatment on the part of Prophet does not seem to satisfy them. So they soon uh, broke off and raised themselves as the enemies of the faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the Ansars in chapter number 9, verse number 100. لَقَدُ تَوْبَ اللَّهُ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ وَالْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْسَارِ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوهُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا كَادَ يَزِيقُ قُلُوبُهُمْ فَرِكُمْ مِنْهُمْ ثُمَّ تَابَ عَلَيْهِمْ إِنَّهُ رَعُوفُ الرَّحِيمُ Which means the Prophet Allah had already forgiven the Prophet, the Ansars and the Muhajis who helped the Prophet at the time of difficulty. So the Prophet uh, the, and the uh, Muhajis settled and came up and established the Islam. And hence, this is how the uh, Islam is established in Medina. And the story of the establishment of Medina, Islam, still continues. If time and opportunity permits me, I will be speaking on the uh, following to uh, upcoming programs, inshallah. I thank my mentor, session facilitator, and Ikra for offering me such an opportunity. May Allah make us hear, make us follow what we heard and grant us paradise. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. MashaAllah. MashaAllah, brother, that was an outstanding speech.